It would impale itself on the bone tip spear. And then the hunter would have to roll out from underneath the heavy falling animal. Once the meat was processed, they would begin to prepare the hide for clothing, shelter, and lashings. They would start by scraping off all the flesh and hair using split and sharpened shin bones from a moose and a caribou. This left them with a large piece of raw hide, which can be cut into thin strips called babiche. Babiche is used as lashings to web snowshoes and as all-purpose rope. Now raw hide is obviously too stiff to use as clothing. To continue the tanning process, they would soak this in a solution of water and fermented moose brains. This milky fluid has acidic enzymes that helps break down any tough fibers in the raw hide. And next, they would scrape the hide using a tool like this clab bass, which is much like a northern ulu, except it has a serrated edge for scraping rather than cutting. Finally, after weeks and weeks of soaking, scraping, and wringing the hide, it was finally reduced into a soft piece of material like this. And to preserve all that hard work, they would stretch the hide over a campfire and then smoke it. You can always tell a true native tanned hide by its rich and smoky smell. Now I'm going to share some traditional native garments with you. This is a ceremonial maiden's dress. And this is a ceremonial chief's coat. 